Welcome to data stage session. In this video, we'll be discussing about uh, data stage transformation string functions. And uh, we are in the process of learning uh, transformation string functions. And uh, we will continue from there. And today's topic, uh, we'll be discussing uh, the functions called num and length and left, right, and right padding. Okay, so before going to the video, if you're watching my channel for the very first time, please click on the subscribe button and, uh, and also click on the bell icon. Okay, so now let's move on to the video. So now, what is number function? So if a string contains only numbers, it will return the value one. If it, if it is contains alphabets, and alphanumeric, then it will return zero. Only numbers only, it will return one, okay? And the next function is len. Len for, it, is, it will calculate the total length of the given string, okay? So now let's work on a scenario. So let's go, to, let's check our input data. Let's see our input data. So this is our input file. This is the input data. So I have a data here, it uh, contains numbers, only uh, numbers and combination of alpha numbers and uh, only alphabets. Okay, so now what we will do, I will consider this file as an input and call it in the ETL job. So now click on close and let's open data stage. So this is the file that I have called here and uh, it has no delimiters and Record level and field level data metrics are end. And column, I have read that entire column as a data. Now click on OK. So now double click on transformer stage. So here, now we'll be discussing about function number and length. OK, so here I have given two columns, that is number check and length check. So length check is to calculate the length of the string. And number check, so whether, uh, whether it contains uh, number, it will display one. It will contain alpha numeric value and uh, only alphabets it will display as zero. Okay. So now let's see this. So how to define this? Okay, so we have a string here, input string that is data. So what we can do is go to string functions, go to functions. So, num, num function, num, and consider the input data, input column, that's it. And similarly, you can check length, length in the string function and give the input data length, okay? So now click on okay, and define the target file, okay? So target file, I have given xs106, length, num, num length, the delimiter I have considered as a five delimiter. Okay, so now let's check the target part. If there is any files, we'll delete that. Okay. Now let's run the job. Click on okay. Save, compile, and run the job. Save, compile, and run the job. Save, compile, and run the job. So here you can check uh, the output. Okay, so input data I have called as one con column and number check and length check. So here it, the first, uh, it is a combination of alpha numeric. So that is the reason it, it uh, returns as zero. And similarly for this also, and similarly for this also. Okay, and it has only numbers, then it returns zero, uh, one. So it's a combination of again alpha numeric, then written radius in zero. Okay, and now it's written zero because it has only alphabets. Okay, and length. 
is the length. So it calculated the total length here. Okay. So this is the way number check and uh, number num and length function will work. Okay. Right. So now let's move on to the next next functions left and right. So here uh, it will returns the position that uh, what are the position that you give in the transformer stage. So suppose a yeah, left left function. If you give n position from the left side, that uh, that many sub uh, that that many, I mean whatever the string that you give from left side, the whatever the position that you give, that sub string value as will be displayed in the output. And similarly for the right side, it will take n number of characters from the right position. Okay, so left side it will take n number of uh, characters for left position. Right side n number of characters from the right position. Okay, so now what we can do. Oh, let's move to the text size. Yeah, the same input file uh, what I have shown you. So now double click on transformer stage. So here I have called left and right function. Just I have given the uh, left for the left position. I have given the string four. Okay, so left position four and right position three. You can see here left position four, right position three. Now click on OK and define the target as well. Click on OK. Now save command, run the job. Yeah, let's, let's open it. So here, left position, you have given four. OK, so that is the reason it has considered first four bytes of the left side. And similarly, if right side three, four, five, six, that is the reason it took four, five, six. You can see here, in this string, we can see first four, R, T, Y, H. And similarly, last three, I, J, seven. First four, first four is, uh, we have only four here, and the four has been displayed. And la right side, position three. One, four, five, five, four, one, three positions. Okay, so this is the way this function will work. So, so if we want to get uh, left side string n position, right side string n position, we can use this function in our uh, uh, project based on the need. Okay, so the next function we'll be discussing about is pad string. So here, uh, pad string that will padded a, a specific number, okay, to the given string. Suppose if you want to add any append any specific number or uh, any value to the given string, so this function we can use. So now let's see the input for this uh, function. Yeah. So this, uh, so I have AB one seventy five. So AB one seventy five. Here, what I am trying to do in the assignment is, I am applying. Uh, padding zeros for four positions. Okay, so this you can see here. Let me copy it in it. Yeah, you can see. So the given string, I need to append it with the four zeros. Okay. What's this? Click on okay. Now save, compile, and run this. Let's see the output. Yeah. So here we have given four position and that has to be padded with zeros. Okay. So these are the five functions in this video. 
Okay, so if you're looking for data stage training, IBM information analyzer training, job support, you can text me in the given WhatsApp number. Thank you. Have a great day.